Making time, making memories There's nowhere that I'd rather be Than in the middle of nowhere All right, we are two hours, 45 minutes Proceed from by 25 North. State Forest State Park, which might be the worst named state park in Colorado. State Forest State, it's like they had a kindergarten contest to name a state park. Yeah. And they landed on State Forest State Park. It's like forest with forest space. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. where we're headed. Ranger Lake. <clears throat> Ranger Lakes Campground. And it's supposed to it's supposed to rain for like seven hours tomorrow. Because, no way. Yeah, because when we camp, that's what happens. The rain's worth it for the cooler temperatures. It is 98 degrees well, yeah. right now. I thought it was super nice out today. 98 is just just getting a little too hot to do anything except swim. Remember about six weeks ago in quarantine when it snowed on the one nice day that we were going to have when we were complaining about snow? And now mm -hmm. six weeks later and it's 98 degrees. And I wish I was a little bit taller. Sing that song. Oh, that's the only reason I said it. Yeah, I know. Okay. Nope. I wish I was a little bit taller. He wants to. He's singing it inside of his head right now. I that's just wanted you that's to know. correct. I am. <laughs> and a six foot Paul. <laughs> yeah, but you know what the last thing to go through a bug's mind is when he hits the windshield? What? His butt. Turn left now. We can't. I hate when she gets impatient with me. I know, just like slow down. We're going as fast as we can. Like, why don't, why don't you go tell the guy in that lands camper to turn left now and then I could turn left now? There, are you happy? She's never happy. She never is like, oh, thank you. Or, that was a great turn. <laughs> like, that was poetry in motion. You're a very good driver. None of that. Just fucking turn right now. <laughs> Hey Charlie, are you supposed to play in the water? Look at Daddy. Are you supposed to be in the water? Are you supposed to do that? Yeah, oh, she back to where the trees grow tall, and ain't a sound for miles Sky gray 
And if there's anything left inside me That remember what it's like to feel Oh, that cold rain falling on the top of my head And the mud beneath my... So I'm just leaving State Forest State Park, the Ranger Lakes campground. And it was awesome. It's, I, I think I said this last week after Mueller, but I do believe this is my favorite state park so far. I liked it even a little bit more than Mueller. The, the differentiation or the, the, the determining factor being the fishing. Mueller has a really cool little fishing pond and I mean, it's very little. Um, and it stocked once a year and I was able to catch a nice trout in it, um, but Ranger Lakes, and maybe I was just there at a really lucky time. I think in an hour and a half, I lost count at like 35 rainbow trout yesterday. Well, yeah. And then we went back and caught five or six more in an hour, it cooled off a little bit. But it was just one of those days of fishing where if you cast and retrieve and you don't get a strike, you're like, what the heck? <laughs> you're like disappointed that you didn't get a strike on one cast and retrieve. It was well over 50% of casts were getting a strike. And I was landing most of those after I kind of figured out the technique to not let them fight their way off. Well, yeah, because they were fighters. Yeah, not not huge guys, and we'll put some pictures in here. Um, you know, you're not going to break any records, but they are spunky little rainbow trout. And I think there were a couple at the 13, 14 inch mark. Uh, most of them were probably 10 to 12. I didn't really measure any. I was trying to get them back in the water as fast as possible. And I saw some people leaving with stringers that, uh, you know, had two or three probably 14 inches tops it was just a lot of fun because we're not a catch and eat kind of family we're catch and release and so to be able to to catch fish and especially heavy like she walked off and went over on the like dam area by herself and she even caught one and got it off herself and and i caught a couple and little baby chuck she just ran through the water fully clothed <laughs> yeah yeah Which we'll, we'll insert a little video of that too it's pretty cute yeah, and I just want to make it clear, we're not catch and release out of any animal-loving, humane reason. It's really just laziness to not want to gut and clean and butcher and cook the fish. Well, we're also just not humongous fish eaters. We more we like more like like seafood, like crab, lobster, scallops, and stuff. We're not huge like freshwater fish eaters. If somebody caught one and wanted to clean it up, we'd have a bite of it. It's not that we dislike it, we just don't love it. Sure, and maybe we just don't have the right recipe. So anybody out yeah. there with a great recipe on fresh caught rainbow trout, send us a, a link to your recipe and, and I'll give it a shot. So I think one of the best parts about this particular state park was no matter what site you were in, they have taken really good care of the, the, the spot. Everything looked flat, they looked freshly graded. Each individual camping spot not only had a place for either your travel trailer, your RV, whatever you have, it also had a really nice level defined tent pad that was extremely nice. They all had individual really sturdy um, picnic tables and fire pits. They were just super well maintained, which obviously after you've towed for a long time and you're getting somewhere, you don't want to have to spend forever trying to find a level spot. It was just really nice to be able to pull in. And I think we had to level like an inch and a half. It was barely anything. Yeah, um, very good setup for sure. Yes. Uh, the campsites are somewhat close together, but they don't feel as close together. Maybe it's because they're kind of at weird angles. They are, they're at like, so I mean we had, so our spot was here and we had somebody here, but they were kind of like aimed this way. So like our trucks kind of came together, but the but our rigs were further apart. I thought it was very nice. And they did have some vault toilet facilities. Um, so that was nice too. I didn't actually use one, so I don't know if they were clean. It, actually, uh, I did use one this morning when I took the trash down to the dumpster. Maybe they had just cleaned it, but it was the nicest, cleanest vault toilet uh, that I've ever hmm. been in. And the guy who was working the, the little uh, and check station. and seizure, super nice guy. So the park is fairly remote, but there are a lot of uh, like private campgrounds nearby that have little like general stores. So 
if you forget some of the most basic necessities, you don't feel like you're totally uh, in a really bad spot to go get it. I didn't go into any of these stores, but I can think of three or four between here and the 24 miles into Walden, Colorado, yeah. which has a couple gas stations and gift shops and uh, a couple cute little places, but I'm sure the most basics, beer and ice, I can't really think of anything else. <laughs> Uh, are available nearby uh, if you are to yeah um, there are several reservoirs close by we're just now passing Joe Wright Reservoir which looks looks super nice beautiful um, had a lot of friendly fishermen at Ranger Lakes it's funny how friendly fishermen are to you when they see you catching a lot of fish and want to know what you're using and feel like they should share a tip with you but uh, tell us about a lot of lakes nearby uh, with really good fishing some really high mountain lakes uh, I know Lake Agnes is only a two mile loop hike to get to the top or to get all the way around um, unfortunately it's only June and I was told there's still a ton of snow up there and the trail is almost impassable yeah we brought um, our big stroller because I thought I found it on all trails and I thought oh that's a short one and it says that it has a path and we were going to take like a picnic up there but it was um, somebody told Corbett it had to at least had three feet of snow just like four days ago yeah I, I had a gentleman come up to me to talk about fishing of course and he had just tried to hike it and didn't even make it to the top and his pants were soaked up above his knees uh, and he said it was just from all the the snow that hadn't yet melted so we scratched that plan um, yeah there is still like i mean looking off to the side of the roads now you will still see patches of snow where it hasn't melted but i mean it's 60 degrees right now um we ran both the air conditioning and the heat on our rig um but not at, not at the same time no not at the same time we only did that like the first time we we plugged it in <laughs> doesn't everybody do that put it on auto and just run them both um but so it, the weather can change up here definitely bring uh cool weather and warm weather clothes but it was a really great time we sat outside around the fire both nights we did have some rain off and on because it wouldn't be a camping trip for us if it didn't rain on saturday yeah, but it did seem to pass quickly mm -hmm. and the campsite was well set up uh, to drain like there was no mud or puddles yes. or anything left behind so soon after even a fairly severe thunderstorm the the sites were dried out very quickly and yeah we were right back at it yep it was just a really great trip I think the girls had fun dogs had fun everybody slept good at night because we were tired it was great Another, another lake where people are going hiking. Oh, and I can't forget, I don't know how many state parks you can say this in. We had a moose walk right through the campground. Yeah. A big... Lady moose. Female moose. I'm not sure what a female moose is called to be totally... Uh, oh, it's a cow. I believe it's a cow, just like elk. They're bull moose and cow moose. Probably. She was big. But, and she could move fast. Faster than our ability to take pictures. Yes. Yeah, cow. Cow. Yes. that's right. Charlie remembers it's called a cow. Making time, making memories. There's no 